Hello and welcome. Welcome to Sim Airport. Yes, this is a simulator airport game. Thank God. I love them and I'm sure a lot of you do love them as well. Um, there isn't an awful lot around at the moment. This simulator is... Uh, this game currently is actually um, on an early access. came out in March. Um, I've had it for the... About six weeks or so um, or just under six weeks about four or five weeks and they seem to be updating it quite a lot um, they're still obviously adding stuff to it they've just recently added a bar um, and some obviously some other bits and bobs that they were doing uh, like frame weights and stuff because this simulator I'm sure that you've seen other videos on YouTube can get very busy um, but I'm gonna do a let's play I, I, I would like to um, so obviously as you can see here this is what you get you can play it in sandbox or career at the moment i'm playing it in a career um so yeah this is the main map but obviously that does become much bigger if you play in a sandbox version at the moment this is our airport here this is the road that comes in to the airport um here is you've got you've got collections of different people so obviously the, the passengers that are coming they come off in the drop off bit um, and then obviously the pickups that come through the baggage claim area, they get picked up here. And obviously there's coaches there to do with the passengers. Deliveries, obviously deliveries to your, um, so when you're building stuff, obviously that's where deliveries go, so the workmen can do that. Um, what I'm just going to do quickly is change this because I don't want deliveries there. I want them up here. So where's deliveries? There it is there. I want deliveries at the top because I will be going up the top. So deliveries can go there for a minute. Um, yeah, so it's a good game. I have played it um, recently. I haven't played loads of it um, because obviously it is still in a uh, early access. But it's in quite a good early access. I must admit, I, I can see quite good things coming from this. All right, garbage can go right at the end. But no one wants to be near the garbage. Um, drop offs the entrance to the drop offs up here let me just do this quickly um, because there's certain things I have to do otherwise it just does my engine drop offs there pickups can come out there and pickups can go here there it is right I just needed to do that. So as you say, you've got you have got workmen. It is a, it is a running airport. Uh, it's in like a two D, as you can see yourself. Um, and it is exactly how an airport is run um, and how it works. So I'll take you through some of it. I'm not the best player on it, um, but you know I've played a little bit of it. I know little bits um, that obviously I'm sure that if you're watching this, that you'll probably see that I've ended up doing something wrong or something like that. Um, but obviously at the top, you've got your main menu that's on the left, that's a standard, um, as you can see there, it's early access. Uh, so yeah, um, there is an experimental stage, and if, I mean, if you buy this game on early access, if you go to your Steam when you download the game itself, uh, click properties, and then go to beta, or beta, um, and click experimental. There's a different um, thing on it, and what it is, is experimental, is every time they release new stuff, it gets added to the experimental before it gets added to the actual game itself. So that means you get all the n the new stuff first, basically. Um, so that's good. So yeah, you've got the standard stuff here. I, I can actually show you the preferences at the moment on how it is. Zoom centering, zoom speed, pan speed and so on. Edge scrolling, that's obviously that. And sewn overlays. You can have them off or on. I like them on, so I know what I'm doing. Uh, the game volume, again, there's not an awful lot of music going on in this game anyway, so, I, I mean, I, I could put it down a little bit, but it's hardly noticeable. Um, that's that. Video settings, obviously resolution, I've got it on that. Quantity is fantastic. I think that's the best it can go. Yeah. Um, uh, UI scale is 100%. Again, that's the best it can do, I believe. And I can go 200 I'll leave it 100, it seems to work better. Full screen mode is on. Research, obviously as you go through um, doing the airport and stuff like that, you've got bank loans, you've got to research these. 
Um, so as you can see, it's unavailable, it's locked. It requires the CFO, uh, a chief finance officer, um, and he must have an office within your airport. And then you can research that again with finance. We can do that now. I can click finance and that researches it. So that means we can take loans out if we run out. At the moment, we are currently on 2.2 million pounds. Uh, that seems a lot, but it doesn't last very long. Multi-lane access changes your airport entrance and exits to be a two-lane road for higher throughput. That, your need. Going forward, that's very important. That um, It does get very busy and gets a lot of passengers in. Um, operations, again, we can do that after the other one. Uh, pricing, again, you obviously put the price down for the airline, so you know they have to pay runway charges and stuff like that, just like they do in real life, really. Um, so that's something that we can do as we go for, forward in this. Road building, again, roads going in and out of the airport needs to be done. At the moment, you only get a single road. Again, it does get busy and it needs upgrading. Upgrading buses, so it means that you get a double-decker bus every 30 minutes. Um, again, you are in charge of absolutely everything at Sim Airport. So you're not in charge a little bit, you're in charge of the whole lot, the whole running of it, the design of it, and everything like that. So yeah, that's that. Again, they're always adding different things every day. So um, again, you can't do bank loans yet because it's locked. This is the passenger, the total passengers, the arrivals, departures, and there's no current passenger status at the moment because we're not ready to build anything at the moment. Airline interest. Now this is, this is important. This is airline interest. So it's based on the price of your putting on the airlines. So at, at the current moment, because I can't change anything, your the runway usage at every airplane that comes down, they might you how much you charge your airlines to use your runways. So I'm charged every time they put a wheel on my tarmac, they give me four hundred dollars at the moment. Um, and then terminal usage, obviously they pay for that, and then they charge that for that. That ten dollars is actually per passenger. So that can go up, so they have to pay that. Um, but you've got to be careful with that because your interest can dramatically drop and then you won't have any planes and then you start getting into debt because the money doesn't last that long. Um, you've got the airlines here on the left-hand side. There's quite a few of them at the moment. There will be more added as we go along. Uh, current flights, obviously I haven't got any at the moment and this is the available. So this is AM, PM and night. So technically, I've got two PMs that want to use my airport at the moment, even though it's not running. I've got um, 1 PM, 1 PM, 2 PM, and two nights. Obviously, this is the airport interest. Uh, you can click it, and it tells you how many passengers. That's 180, 140, 90, and 75. They do go up to like 500 passengers, um, and even more than that, I think. So they do go up quite high. Again, this is the Sim Weather Channel. Welcome to the Sim Weather Channel. Current forecast, chance of thunderstorms, a chance of precipitation and high winds. So yeah, that's the only time the sound comes up loud when it's completely raining, but I will drop the sound down if it gets too high. So yeah, this is this is how it is. This is the runway here. So obviously the planes will come down here, come onto the taxiway, and then they go straight into here. Um, but we've got to get the airport going. We've got 2.2 million, so let's get on with it. So this is the entrance. This is currently the large sliding door. The, the passengers will be getting dropped off up here. The reason I've put it up here is because I'm, I, would, I want to extend this upwards and this is where the ticket ticket area is going to be. Um, I'll, I'll probably do that in a minute. Um, yeah, so, um, yes, that's it. We've got obviously the ticketing area and obviously we need baggage claim as well that's here. Obviously when you get off the aircraft, they have to go through some sort of baggage area to pick up their suitcases and stuff, technically. Unless they've lost it, obviously, and then that could become quite quite an issue. Staff wages at the moment is a minus $195 that we're playing for staff. Let's look at all the staff that you can get on this game. You get CFO, again, that's gonna cost you 5,000 plus a $100 hourly rate. It's quite expensive. Food workers, janitors, workmen, you know, work one on a thousand dollars and fifteen dollars an hour. Staff, general staff, and security. They're all on it. You still got to pay them. Unfortunately, they don't come free. Right. So at the moment, we've got this bit here. Doesn't last long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this for the minute to get it up and running to show you what it's what it's all about. So we've got a ticketing office here, 
and one there. So technically, ideally I would like to extend it, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm going to get some, let's get some cues going here. Oh, no, that's too much. Again, you need cues. Let me just do a cue for this one at the moment. There, and that one can go there, and that can go there for a minute. And obviously once you've done the queue there, you have to click on it, you have to assign it, and you've got to assign it to the queue, otherwise it won't know. So assign that, assign that with that one, that's fine. Both of them queues are assigned to them desks, so that's good. They come in, and they walk straight into the queue, and then book, book themselves in. But, <clears throat> some of them don't need to, because they've done it online. So, what you need is a... Ticket kiosk, but electronic one. There it is. Passengers that don't have to check luggage are able to use the automatic ticketing kiosk to print their boarding passes. So these are these here. So we will have these up the top here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. That's all we need there. So the queue can go for them. They can go to their tickets or they can print them out themselves. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some chairs in. Just spam it up a little bit. So let's put some uh, let's put some chairs here. A bit close to it, but that that'd be fine. Um, and then let's have a look and see flight info. Let's put a couple of flight infos information boards. So people can see what's going on. That's that there. Right, let me just um, move that up a little bit. Okay. There you go. You might be able to hear a little bit. It's not. You can't hear an awful lot in this game, but um, it's better than nothing. <laughs> Right, and obviously, as you can see, they're, they're all actual, they're not very dark. They go light colour. That's because you've placed them and they're waiting to be built. Obviously, when they're waiting to be built, this is where the workmen, as you can see here, bring deliveries. The deliveries get dropped off because this is what I want to be building. So deliveries get dropped off in the delivery area. Then the workmen come and pick it up. They don't walk very fast at all and they've got no legs. So that, that's where it becomes quite serious at the moment because they haven't got a lot of legs, they sort of float. But there you go. They come and then you'll see in a minute, you'll probably hear it before anything. Here, drop one there, so that's for that one. Black guy will go to this one, drop that one there, and then this guy here that seems to be holding it with one hand and not holding it at all now, goes and drops it. And then they build that. Doesn't matter, you just carry on doing what you're meant to be doing. So. It, regardless of what happens um, down here because I need I'm gonna start um, so it's a lot of money so you've got to think what you want because I want them to come out of here straight down here and then out to the baggage area that's what I ideally want no, I want a wall there uh, let's have a glass one and then what we do is objects uh, uh, we clear that and we put the door down here and that means that they can run straight down there straight through the baggage area get their bags and go out right let's speed this up a little bit here. get them building that quickly right as, as you can see there that's proper functional Kiosk. Oh, so if I zoom in, 
that's a proper kiosk there and then obviously the customers the passengers will go along there print their tickets out and then they literally go straight from there straight through security um <clears throat> so yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna dismantle this because i don't want the toilet here i want this still to be a part of security if i can ideally so this this will have to be dismantled Once they finish building that, they've got a lot of build at the moment, so. Zone that. Anything that's a zone, you cross out if you don't want it. Everything has to be zoned here, unfortunately. That will go there because it's telling me that, obviously, I'm, it's not a full um, thing in my bob that I've just taken some out. Alright, so these are done here. The boards are done. As you can hear, that digging. That's them drilling over here to build the foundations and then obviously they build a wall around it. And it's at night now, as you can see, you can see it at night. It all lights up, you need lights on the runways for that. Requires a secure area because obviously at the moment it's not a secured area. It's Anyone can get in and out. And now because I don't want these, I'll sell these sinks. So you just sell it back. You can sell stuff, but obviously it will cost, you do lose money on it. So let's just get, let's sell these and get rid of that. I do apologize for the drilling. They seem to have done that and they're putting the windows in so we can go back to the zone in get rid of that zone get rid of that get rid of that uh, 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 uh. so I want to make this work I want uh, well I might as well just build the whole lot there for the minute I've got the money so I might as well and then demolish oh. then get rid of this there and that keep them going keep them going right then I need a wall down there to about there and this bit here will be the security bit this would be the main toilet sliding door let's get rid of that we need a wall here then we go to objects big sliding door push R to change it and that can go in there and this is the window, this is basically a window, they've only just added this window actually. But obviously that can see the, um, you can see the passengers coming in. See, my OCD is going to kick in here, so I'm going to have to line that up because I can't. That's going to do my heading. So let me just clear this one here. Right. Now build another wall along there. Let's just go and do that quick has been secured by one or more security oh, that should work fine right that is there because this door all right no that door's fine that's in there um i think that's saying that 
because I might have to clear that and build a wall there. See if that makes a difference. Everything's got to be secure, otherwise it won't work properly. Right. Does that get rid of that? One more security zones. Maybe. Oh, it's this, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Obviously, as they exit, you've got the security gates that's here. One, two, three, four. Obviously, they come out of here. Yeah. They come out of here, straight through there, pick their bags up, and then they go. Right, so that's that. <clears throat> Let's zone the security. Because security is getting a bit bigger there. And I suppose security could go along now. Right. And obviously, as you can see, they get their bags, they get their ticket. They come out and they come down to the security area. What I'm going to do is put a wall just there. They can build that wall for me just to keep it all in one area. Right, dismantle this because I'm going to have the, the bag thingy along there so let me just get rid of that quickly right objects I want bag scanners one there one there one there one there one there how much are they right the 2400 I'll leave that there for a minute and what is the cheapest metal detectors are 2800 and I imagine the walking ones are going to be more. Where's the walking ones? Body scanner. Yeah, much more. So we'll stick with these ones. And obviously with these, you'll see an arrow there. That's the way they have to walk into it. I learned the hard way on that one. That'll do. All right, we have one more. Some of these. Uh, so it seems a bit of an overkill, but believe me, it does get quite busy. So they go in there. I put some queues in, but they queue up to the desk, put their bags through, go through the body scanner, and then they're in the departure lounge, basically, um, that we're sort out in a minute. So that's that. Let's put another queue in. So we've got a queue here. That can go to there. Got another queue here. It, it, it won't matter too much because I can put them all to everything. So the queues can do all of them. Doesn't have to be a specific desk. You know, like this here, assign. I can assign to how many I want, so I can assign to it all. So basically, whoever's in the line that's free can do anyone. I, I normally find that quite best because a lot of people do it singly, like that queue for that desk, that queue for that desk. Um, I find it easier and less hassle when they're connected all together. Right, I've done that now. Yep, yep, yep. Right, let's just assign these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, when you assign them, that's it. The if the passengers turn up, they're waiting next to that desk, even if there's no one there. So you have to make sure you've got the staff to do it. That I have. That's it. And that needs to sign in, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that signed? Yeah, that's signed, that's signed, that's signed, that's not signed. A sign, a sign, sign, sign. Yep, yeah, cool. Right, so that's the queues done. So they basically go there, they get the ticket, they get the tickets that they need. Um, and then they come here, they look at the flight department, and then they get into the queue to go to security. Um, what we could do with is probably 
some electronics vending machines so let's put that in there uh, a food vending I'm not too sure if it works yet but Nice little vending food area just in case they're a bit hungry. So yeah, that goes through that, that, it goes through there, and then gets to that. Right. So obviously they bring their bags here, they put it on here, and it goes. Where does it go, you ask? Well, what you need then is you need to go to you need um objects and you need a hang on. I'll find it in a minute. A hanger. We're gonna go with a got 1.9 million. It doesn't seem a lot. It seems a lot, but it don't take long. We'll go with a small one first to, to get us going. Uh, we put this up the top. I know that seems a bit of an overkill, but it saves me changing it later on. So you've got the hanger. That's obviously where the baggage cars are and stuff. So now you need a baggage routing system. That can go next to it. They build that quickly. Right, that's built. So we can click on that. The sign vehicles, and then we've got one here, and you can have a baggage baggage car. Obviously, the baggage car goes to the plane once it's landed, and obviously takes the baggage or loads it. Right, that's that. That's saying requires connection to ticketing desks with conveyor. So utilities conveyor belt pinks for that that's going in so we'll start with this one first quickly that'll go all the way down here these are built underground so don't worry about um, trying to please them all right, then they'll start building that conveyor belt for me and obviously that's the bags that go in and they go along um, let's do these. These are the bags that are coming out and have to go into the baggage area. Right. These are built underground so you don't actually see them. actually see them because they're built underground but once that's done that that'd be fine um, right baggage claim area objects baggage carousel right might need to make that bigger for some reason it's not doing it that's fine that's fine that's fine let's build that let's make this a little bit bigger then I see it's got a lot of potential um, and I quite like it at the moment you, you know you've got the objects you can decorate outside and there's some other bits in there um, but I say it's early access so you know it's gonna take take some time to get in there and stuff like that um, but I'm gonna call that one there that's gonna be the first episode um, we're getting there we're building it we're getting there closely um, so yes guys well thank you for watching um, and please leave a like if you like the video. If you didn't like the video, then don't leave a like. Um, until next time, guys, stay safe and happy flying. See you later.